Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I draw a blue iris in colour pencil. For this tutorial, I am using all Prismacolor colour pencils and I'm doing it on the Strathmore toned tan paper. First, I'm just going to start by listing the colours that I'll be using in today's demonstration. It is important when you're trying to do something realistic that you have a large variety of different shades to help build up the tone and depth in your drawing. As you can see, I have quite a few different shades of blue. And also, if you're drawing a light blue eye, then they tend to have a lot of grey tones in them as well. Once I've listed all the colours, I start by going in with my black chow marker and I use this just to block in where the pupil is. This helps to get a better coverage and then I can later go back on top with it with the black and indigo colours. Next I start with my lightest blue colour, so that's the sky blue light and I use this to mark out where all the highlights are going. Then I just go over with the black colour pencil over the top of the pupil to get a coverage of the colour pencil and then I use the whites and blues to define where those highlights are. When I'm blending I am using the Zestip pencil blend and I just put a bit of this on a paintbrush and then I go and blend that out. Next I go in with the slightly darker turquoise blue and I use this to basically just mark in where the shadows are. I do this lightly just so that I can distinguish the difference between where the highlights are and where the shadows are. But later I'll come in with those darker shades to add the depth and the realism to the iris. Next I go in with the Mediterranean blue and I'm using this on the outer edges of the iris. This is where the darkest part of the iris is and then I'm going in with the peacock blue to really define where those shadows are. I will also use the indigo blue on the really dark parts of the iris. When you're drawing an iris, it's really good to have a really good reference photo so that you can see all the details in the iris because they are very complicated and intricate. Next I go in with the Caran d'Ache Black and I just use this on the really, really most dramatic dark portions of the iris. As you can see already that when I've distinguished where the highlights are and the shadows it already looks really realistic. Next I go in with that lightest colour again just to go over the highlights once more and to kind of blend those shadows in with the highlights so it doesn't look so harsh. Then I just keep going in with those darker blues and those lighter ones just to keep adding depth to the shadows and basically bringing everything together, the shadows into the highlights so it's not so dramatic. It's really important when you're drawing eyes to make sure that you're always looking at your reference photo. Yeah. 
When you're drawing eyes, there tends to be the really dark pupil and then just around the pupil is a darker strip and then a highlighted strip around that and then on the edges of the iris it's dark again. So if you can follow that, it doesn't really have to be perfect. So it's not as important what patterns you do inside the iris, but making sure that your line directions go from the center of the iris out towards the edge is really important and it's also important to draw the lines in a curved shape because the iris is slightly curved and spherical on the eye it's not flat so it's nice to add some curves so that it looks more three-dimensional and realistic At this point I'm just going in and adjusting the different colours and then I go in with the paint thinner and I blend all of this out so that was my first final layer. And as you can see it really helps blend those highlights into those shadows. Once you use the solvent, it's really important to let it dry completely before you go on top with a new layer, otherwise you might risk damaging the paper underneath. Next I go in with the Caran Dash White and I use this to pull up the extreme highlights because when I blended it darkened up those highlighted regions. And as you can see when I go over with that white colour pencil it just really makes them pop out and it really goes on top well over the top of that um, pencil blend. For this white I'm using the Caran d'Ache Luminance White and it's really good and opaque and it's definitely my favourite white pencil. And then going in with that indigo blue and using this to really darken up those outer edges of the iris. At this point it's really just adjusting little details. To be honest you could leave it here but I just had a few more bits that I just wanted to adjust to make sure that I was completely happy with it. And then I go in with a white gel pen. I use the white gel pen for the extreme highlights such as in the pupil or reflections on the iris and at the bottom of the iris I did a little reflection there and it really helps to bring the realism and distinguish those extreme highlights from just the highlights inside the iris. And that's it for this tutorial. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorial videos. If you want to follow me on social media, all the links will be in the description. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.